Smith in the Mustang, Marinella. Beautiful sound by the engine. Earlier Mustangs, of course, had the Allison engine in, which really proved useless at altitude. And so they stuck a Rolls Royce Merlin in it, and it changed the aircraft completely. And this particular aircraft has got the Rolls Royce Merlin 3 engine. Which was produced in the US by Packard, it's a Packard Merlin. Now Rob really bringing it low over those trees and he'll be pulling it up into a very tight turn. Get that now. Now from the engine. Well, this message from the engine is the air going through the gun ports. It gives you that incredible sound. Earlier Mustangs had been restricted to fighter reconnaissance units because of the low altitude power rating of their Allison engine. However, once they put the Merlin in it, we could change. Improved the aircraft tremendously. It could escort, escort the V-17s all the way to Germany and back. So it became one of the more potent aircraft of the Second World War. Well, oh, it was it? Entered service in the Royal Air Force, the number 19 squadron in Sussex, in Ford, in February 1944. And they escorted bomber formations across France, right away into Berlin and back. Pulling, pulling it up, pulling it about 3 to 4 G, and it goes over the top. And once it comes out of that climb, you'll be weightless, just his straps are reholding him back into his seat. Maximum speed of this aircraft 450 miles an hour which was an increase on the Spitfire even on the Mark 16 was just slightly under 400 mile an hour so this was a very very powerful and potent machine once they put the Merlin engine into it it had guns, it could carry bombs, it had rockets strapped under the wings very important aircraft you see it has these black and white stripes on it, hence it was around on D-Day. Every Allied aircraft had those stripes to a aircraft identification and to try and prevent friendly fire. I mentioned the pilot Rob Davis. He's his own aircraft, Big Beautiful Doll, which he keeps down in Kent, or kept down in Kent. Unfortunately had an incident at Duxford about four years back when the sky radar up, chopped the tail plane off. And sadly he came to green. Rob just managing to get out, jumping out of his aircraft. The parachute deployed with just seconds, seconds to go. So it really was an extremely lucky escape. And the ironic part of it is that he had actually sold Big Beautiful Doll to a German company. So, uh, unfortunately, just the pieces remained of it. <laughs> Rob keeps his aircraft in his own strip down in Kent, a place called Woodchurch, which used to hold an annual air show. But due to circumstances with insurance and likewise, I'm afraid the air show had to stop, so Rob bringing it in in a really nice pass now. For you photographers. Beautifully controlled. Rob has been on the flying team for about 20 plus years. At his strip down in Kent, he also has his own Harvard, a Joe Dell, and I believe recently a Tiger Moth. The guy who actually owns his aircraft, Morris Hammond, is a qualified engineer, and many of the Merlin engines go back to him to be refurbished. 
at the site at Hardwick Airfield in Norfolk, which is an ex-US Army Air Force base. Prior to the Mustang coming into service, the B-17s on their way to Germany were shot out of the sky in their hundreds with no escorts. Once the Merlin came along, this Merlin engine, Mustang came along, it saved the lives of many, many of the bomber crews when it escorted them to and fro Germany, to Berlin, various other places. So Rob bringing in a nice low fi pulling gently up. And once more into a lovely superb victory roll. So this was a British Ministry Air Spec aircraft originally, but not built over here, North American built it. And as I mentioned earlier on, the Allison engine was grossly underpowered, did nothing for the aircraft until they put this, the Rolls-Royce Merlin into it. Completely changed the aircraft. And that's the sound that you hear today. When you hear the you hear the Spitfire at the end of the show, you'll you'll hear a similar sounding engine because they both have the Merlin in them. And the Mark 16 that you will be seeing also has a Packard Merlin, which is the same as in this Mustang. A very beautiful flying by Rob today. Heading for that patch of blue. A wonderful sound. I know everybody says the Americans didn't win the war, but my golly, when you see aircraft of that caliber, then I don't think we could have done it without them. Escorting the B-17s on their long, long journey back over to Germany and back. And usually this aircraft is seen as causing Sally B, which of course is the only, only B-17 flying in the country, and which we did have here last year, but in its place by Rob, Mark Lowe. And I think that may well be his last part if he departs back to, back to Norfolk. I haven't heard him talk to air traffic, so perhaps he may not be going back, enjoying himself too much. Over the years, this air show has grown and grown here. I remember when I first came here, we had about three aircraft displaying. Now we have all these magnificent aircraft. I can see in future years this little air show will grow into quite a large air show. No. And long may it continue because Damien's Hall is a really nice airfield to fly from and to and to display. As you've heard earlier on from Sam, you can now do it air experience flights from here. So Rob Davis and then Mustang Marinella. And the waggle of the wings as he departs back. Back to Norfolk, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very genteel display. 